All right, hello and welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. I'll do so if you actually can. So this will probably be a quicker one. Just running over a concept someone did bring up a while back in the comments section on one of the drought videos. That being that, when a drought settles in over a region for however long, the water and rainfall that would otherwise be happening in that region doesn't just vanish. It doesn't just, like, cease to exist. The precipitation patterns shift and rearrange throughout the world in that wherefore there is a region of any particular size in extreme drought, there will be equivocally other regions receiving much more precipitation than would otherwise be normal. Now since I titled the video and I'm phrasing it as where is the water going in each particular case, don't, don't misinterpret what I'm saying as like literally meaning that the water from this place is going over to and then falling down in this place because that's not how it works. I'm just providing some basic side-by-sides so obviously the one I talk about the most frequently is the southwestern U.S. And where's all that water been going? Well, that's changed around over the course of time. But most recently, it's been the southeastern U.S. Even getting to the point of devastating floods in Kentucky and Tennessee recently a month or two ago. And also western Canada in British Columbia and Alberta. Which also last year resulted in some pretty devastating flooding. There has been, and still is, an ongoing severe drought in the northern chunk of Argentina, where a lot of their agriculture happens to be, as well as basically affecting all of Paraguay. And in terms of where's that water gone, not literally, but a lot you could equate out showing up in Peru and Ecuador. The excessive rainfall they've been receiving in recent times actually uh, starting to cause them severe infrastructure damage. With many mountain road collapses, huge sections of road that uh, basically have to cling to the side of the Andes Mountains, collapsing and just sliding down the mountain, and numerous mudslides and the like becoming very frequent, uh, especially in Ecuador. Recently an entire town was buried, you might remember, over in Africa, particularly the Horn of Africa, Somalia, and big chunks of Ethiopia have been in a prolonged drought, Somalia the longest. The most immediate or nearest region where it seems the water went to is Sudan and South Sudan, both of which over recent months in particular have been seeing devastating flooding. The most intense dislocation of water recently is the extensive horrendous drought in India, particularly the upper portion, the flatter heartlands of India where a lot of the agriculture is and where they were already depleting their aquifers. And that water did not go too far. It hopped right over into Pakistan and has caused a society crippling flooding in Pakistan over the last several months. At one point, even nearly a third of the country being inundated to some extent, which has caused massive infrastructure collapse particularly most dangerously in water sanitation and filtration, and also resulted in quite a lot of crop destruction. And China also has slipped into a decent drought over the last couple of years. That water seeming to go primarily to the nearly separated eastern portion of India, as well as Bangladesh, and has correspondingly resulted in extreme flooding there, particularly in Bangladesh, where I forget which one, but at one point for a few days, one of their entire states on the map was under some level of water. So there you go for this, just a basic run over, a reminder showing that particular extremes in one part of the world tend to end up with correspondingly opposite extremes in different regions, whether near or far. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Just only do so if you actually can. You can also go subscribe to my Catch channel real quick. We're trying to get her up to 1,000 subs before her monetization deadline around uh, November, December. But no matter what becomes of me, may God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.